Hey guys, Bree Jordan here. Today we are going to be talking about candles. One of my favorite topics, and not just any candle brand, we are going to be talking about Drake's newest candle brand, and that is called Better World Fragrance House. So if you haven't heard of it, it's pretty new. It released it in the past maybe four months. I got the whole core collection and I've burned them all. So I'm here to give you my full on honest review about them. So we're gonna start off with the Williamsburg Sleepover. And then the cool things with these candles is that you can customize them in any way that you want to make it all about your experience. So this is the box that you're going to get it in. It's very simple nothing too fancy it's just very simple and minimalist and then when you open it up this is what the candle is sitting in so you get a little marker and it says it has the initials of better world fragrance house and you could just customize it you can customize the box you could customize whatever you want with this candle so for me that's the coolest part about this candle you could customize it to be you so for this one, I just wrote Brie Jordan on here, made it very simple, so it's mine. I burn this candle pretty much all the time. And just off of the cold throw, this is a very clean, musky candle. I get musk and rose. Let me go ahead and tell you the actual notes in this candle because I don't remember off the top of my head. So on the website, I'm not too far off. The scent profile says that it's a floral woody musk. And let's see the notes. The notes are red rose, patchouli, and ylang ylang. So yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. It's a beautiful scent. And one thing that I really like about these candles is that they're using high quality ingredients. You can smell it. They're not using anything cheap or synthetic. And that is what I look for when I'm buying any fragrances or candles. That's the main thing. It's not about how expensive it is. It's about how high quality the ingredients are. And then when you burn it, it's the same smell that you're getting. It doesn't change that much. It just smells very cool, very refreshing very soft and delicate which I love. I really like how soft and sensual this candle is. It's very comforting in a way. This candle is very unisex and on the website it says it's genderless too. So if you're a male you can definitely try this candle out. If you're female either way it goes it's a beautiful candle and it's something that you want in your bedroom. It's really nice. This candle does give good projection and the burn time is really good too. I've had this about for a month now, I do rotate candles, but you know, some candles can go faster than others. This one does burn pretty slow and at even pace, so I think it's worth it. Next one up is Muskoka. Ooh, this one I love. This one is very deep and woody. On the website, it says it's the Oriental Woody, and it features the notes of Gayak wood, cloves, and sandalwood. To me, this smells very enchanted. It's a really nice, rich, woody candle. It doesn't smell like burning wood, but it just smells like pure wood. Like you just got done chopping down a tree and you put these woods together and you're getting that nice woody resin. In a way, it's calming too. It's, it's just really nice. And I can't get over how high quality these ingredients are, you guys. Like this smells so good and raw. Smelling this candle is making me ready for fall, honestly. I love summer, but smelling this is just like, oh, I can't wait to burn this again during the fall months. And what I pick up most is the sandalwood. If you know anything about sandalwood, it can make the scent very creamy and it's almost giving that vibe with the rich woodiness in it. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but you just have to smell it and you understand what I mean. Dang, Drake, you did a good job with these candles. I, I can honestly stand behind these candles and say these are amazing. Next up is Sweeter Things. As you can see, I didn't customize this one yet and I didn't burn it as much, but don't let that fool you. It does not mean that I did not like this candle that much. I love this candle. It's very strong, you guys. I think this one may be one of the most intense ones. All of them are pretty intense, but this one is just like boom. It fills up the room really fast. So this one is pretty sweet and as the name, Sweeter Tings. So the scent profile for this one is a Oriental Gourmand figured because it's so sweet. So Sweeter Tings is basically a mix of precious woods, floral rose, and iris. It really creates a beautiful, unique scent that almost goes into the gourmand realm. It's, it's different, it's very different. 
It almost smells like a fragrance that I know, but I can't pinpoint it. But this one is very strong and it just takes over your whole room, which is a good thing. That's what I want when I'm burning candle. I want it to take over everything. <laughs> I love it. It's just, it's very unique. This is a unique candle. I think maybe, maybe out of all of them, this may be the most unique. I think the reason I didn't burn this as much is because it's a much sweeter scent. And I like my sweeter scents for colder weather. Right now it's summer where I'm at. So I like to burn more musky scents that are kind of lighter. And for the fall and winter, I like to burn more sweeter scents, more woody scents. So that's just my way. This is a great candle. And I think once it gets a little bit more cooler, I will burn this one all of the time. <sighs> Beautiful. Candle number four is Good Thoughts. Oh, guys, this is a good one. <laughs> oh, I love this candle so much. I'm saying that about all of them, but this one really does it for me. I think this was the first one that I burned out of all of them. And guys, the name really resonates with the scent. Because when I smell this, I get a big burst of optimism. Like a smile just goes on my face immediately. This is a beautiful musky scent. It smells like white musk. On the website, the scent profile for this one is just floral. It almost smells like there's musk in here, but they say just floral. So there's oranges, Canadian fig trees, rose, Australian sandalwood. They really blended this to perfection because I can't detect one note over the other. It's so clean, it's so raw. I love this candle. If you are somebody who needs a burst of optimism, Good Thoughts is definitely it. I think this is so worth it. This is nice to put in your office area, in your room, anywhere. I think if you're somebody who's a creator, or if you're somebody who's trying to meditate, or if you're even just somebody who's trying to work and you're, you're frustrated in your work, this is a good candle to burn in the midst of that. I've burned this during times where I'm stressed out, even when I'm making a YouTube video sometimes, or I'm doing my regular work throughout the day. This is a candle that I will burn and it will help me to come to just a better state of mind and be more optimistic. I burn it when I'm reading. I just burn it when I want to feel good inside. And I burnt this one all the way down, guys. So I'm basically done with this candle, which I'm so sad about. Out of all the candles, this was the first one that I finished. And that just tells you how good this one is. So we're on the last candle and this candle is kind of special because this is the only candle that cost $80. And this one is to be said to smell like Drake. This is Kirby Musk. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can he make this into a fragrance and sell it? Because honestly, I would wear it. This is so good. It actually smells like skin almost. That's so weird. <laughs> Let me go on the website and tell you guys what's in this. So the scent profile on this candle is musk, of course. And let me read the details to you guys. This is the first scent the team developed and the one that ultimately birthed Better World Fragrance House. Constructed unlike any other fragrance, Kirby Musk is developed with trail air technology, which means it's made to linger in the air longer. The layering of sweet velvet powdery musk along with musk of soft floral amber and marine connotations makes it incredibly unique and a must-have there we have it <laughs> so this one was crafted to smell like drake very interesting if he smells like this good god you smell amazing <laughs> i'd recommend this candle i would this was the most expensive one but hey there are candles out there for much more. This candle actually smells really good. So I don't feel bad about spending $80 on this candle because it's unique. It's definitely unique. I don't think anybody else has made a candle that smells just like them. Maybe Gwyneth Paltrow, I think she made a candle that smells like her vagina. Drake did a really good job on this candle. His team did a really good job. So kudos to them. Now overall, I think Better World Fragrance House is off to a great start. These candles are amazing, they're high quality, they burn slow, and the throw of these candles are strong, they're not weak. And that is something that I always look for in a candle. No matter the price point, it could be priced at $300, but if that throw is not good, then the candle is not that great to me. I want something that's gonna fill up the room, something that's a high quality scent, something that's gonna bring me a scent memory. And these candles, that's exactly what they do. 
so I'm happy with them. I'd rate this a 10 out of 10 experience and I cannot wait till they release new fragrances and I hope that they actually do release perfumes. That would be such an amazing idea. So if you ask me would I repurchase these candles, the answer would be yes. I definitely plan to do that. So that is it on my review of these candles. Definitely check out Better World Fragrance House. They're really amazing and I can't wait to see what's next on their agenda. So guys, definitely give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite if you guys have tried or if you haven't tried, go ahead and let me know which one you think you might be trying. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I appreciate you and stay blessed and look out for the next video. Bye.